Here are five Sheldon Cooper autism traits that you must see. Super interesting, coming up. Hey guys, welcome back to the Aspie world. My name is Dan. I have autism, ADHD, OCD, and dyslexia. I make weekly videos on this type of stuff. So if you're new around here and you'd like to learn more, remember to hit the subscribe button by clicking that notification bell. And also, if you're watching over on Facebook, make sure to give this page a like and a follow and you'll see daily videos from me. Okay guys, so I want to do this video about Sheldon Cooper and talking about how he has autistic traits. In this video, I'm gonna be talking about five of the ones that are most kind of obvious in the TV show and sharing them with you so you can see how he is on the spectrum. Okay guys, before I get started, I like to just answer questions that you guys have asked me over on Instagram. And if you'd like me to read out your question in a future video, make sure to head over to Instagram, give me a follow and turn the notifications on so you'll know when I ask you to ask me questions and hey, you might even be in a video just like this. Okay guys, I am gonna take my first question here. So the first question is from Nata and Score Crawfish one and they said, why do people with ADHD have a meltdown and not make eye contact? Well, this is quite fascinating because I have ADHD comorbidly or co-occurring with autism and it's people with autism who have meltdowns and find it hard to make eye contact. So potentially the person you're talking about may actually be on the autism spectrum and also have ADHD. Okay, here's another question. The second question here is from Anna Prince. 1988 and they said why make YouTube videos when social interaction is difficult um, because it's easier to make videos to talk to people to large audiences than it is to go one-on-one -on -one with like you know thousands of people I feel like YouTube is a great way to spread a message and get a lot of people to help in their lives and help educate people I think it's a great tool okay so the last question here is from Ellie Dixon 2004 and they said how long does the Asperger's test last for so if you're asking how long the actual test goes on for it takes a couple of hours and maybe you'll have to see two different people at different times so you have to do two hours at one day two hours another day um, if you're wondering how long the diagnosis lasts then the diagnosis is an official diagnosis for life and if you're wondering how long it takes before you get a diagnosis uh, date then currently in the UK I think it's like a year to 18 months which is a long time but that's currently the current waiting times and I hope that answered the question. Hey guys I'm super excited to do this video I've been pumped for a while to do this and um, people have been asking me for a while to do this type of video and talking about them and this is the first one in this series where I'm talking about fictitious characters or fictional characters with an autism spectrum disorder so we are talking about Sheldon Cooper from the Big Bang Theory. Now if you don't know what the Big Bang Theory is it's basically this very popular sitcom from the United States. It's been on for about nine seasons. I think it's just finished and it basically covered the lives of a few scientists uh, living in California and it's just really funny. It's, it's a really funny show. I liked watching it and the reason I actually know about the show is because my girlfriend tweeted one saying, hey, is it weird that the guys on the Big Bang Theory remind me of my boyfriend? And then I had to watch it to figure it out and, um, you know, to, to see if you were right. And she was right, you know, because I'm also a scientist and I collect all the stuff that they had and it was really funny actually. So, I then decided to research into Sheldon Cooper because he displayed a lot of like autistic traits and he was very much on the spectrum. So I, I researched into the character background. I found an interview with Jim Parsons, who's the guy who plays Sheldon Cooper. He's the actor, Jim. And he was talking about the fact he read a book called Look Into My Eyes, uh, written by a guy who was on the spectrum about being on the spectrum before being that character or before becoming the character Sheldon. Even though in the series, his mum says that she took him to see a specialist and he they don't really diagnose, they don't say what the diagnosis was, well, so they said they took him to see a specialist to make sure he wasn't crazy, but they don't really tell you what the diagnosis was. But because of this, um, Sheldon's character is seen to be having, um, you know, typical autism kind of traits. Also, Jim uh, expressed that the director himself said that the character is based on a family member of the directors who is on the spectrum, and that's basically where Sheldon's character came from, but he didn't say that Sheldon had a diagnosis or not. So it's very interesting. They never mentioned a diagnosis, or they never mentioned the word autism, but it's very, very apparent, and we're gonna get into it right now. So I've made a list of like five things that I think are, are most prominent characteristics of autism within Sheldon Cooper, and these were done with the help of my girlfriend Naomi as well, so she helped me kind of compile these. So, 
These are the super interesting uh, traits. So the first one is obsessive interest. Now, if you watch any of the episodes, you'll know that Sheldon is obsessed with superheroes. He reads comic books uh, like it, there's no end. He's obsessed with like sci-fi superheroes and all that kind of stuff. They have an excessive amount of memorabilia in their house uh, to do with like superheroes and sci-fi and space and all that kind of stuff. But they also know a lot about the characters and the backstories and the, and the directors and the movies and all the, the the trivia that goes with it like obsessively he knows everything there is to know about like the flash and the green lantern and things like that they also i think make friends with will wheaton who's a character in star trek uh, and also adam west who's the original batman i think they even come on the show and also lanet nimoy has been on the show before um you know and it's just amazing they absolutely obsess over these things now people on the autism spectrum obsess over things they have obsessive interests and it's not unlikely for them to obsess over like Marvel or DC or comic books or Star Wars or something like that. So that is something very interesting. Now, the second one is his repetitive behavior. Now, Sheldon has a repetitive behavior in everything he eats. Everything he eats has to be hyperly um, the same every single time. And it's kind of like he has the same thing to eat every single time they go to somewhere. Um, and then he also has like the the same knock like if he wants to knock on someone's door he has the same knock it's kind of like he, he like knocks three times like da -da -da penny da -da -da penny da -da -da penny and like that's his knock like he does it every single time and also when somebody um opened the door halfway through him doing the knock he had to do it one more time so like he knocked the door twice and then penny opens the door and then he's like oh and so he just knocks the door and says penny and then continues with the conversation so he has like a routine like a repetitive um kind of like uh, a habit that a habitual kind of behavior that he, he can't deviate from which is amazing now number three is similar to number two but it's a separate kind of thing he wears the same clothes every single day like he wears the same type of clothes he has a long sleeve shirt and then a short sleeve shirt over the top of it and he wears like just jeans and he has the same jacket and a pullover bag um and that's pretty much it like he that's all his his wardrobe consists of he wears the same thing all the time i know all the other characters do as well but sheldon specifically has those specific same clothes and they're always to do with his like superhero fascination and that kind of stuff there's never anything kind of deviate from that he doesn't wear like adidas or nike or whatever he always wears like superhero stuff and that's all he wears so uh, number four is that sheldon doesn't understand jokes um people with an autism spectrum condition don't really understand sarcasm or humor that's kind of like um you know sarcastic or, or, or unspoken it's kind of like you have to just get it get along with the social convention that is difficult for people on the autism spectrum and sheldon actually displays this very much so and they make a huge thing about it all the time they don't know um you know when when sheldon's trying to uh, learn jokes you don't know if he's getting it or not and then he says like he doesn't get the jokes and people can be sarcastic with him and he doesn't get it at all i find this fascinating because um it shows, it highlights the struggles and the issues that people with an autism spectrum condition do have. And I find that just amazing. But number five is that Sheldon can't deviate from his linear structure. Like he has that rigid routine that he cannot deviate from. He sits in the same chair every day and he even says in one episode that he comes down and he sits sits on that corner of that chair on the sofa and he watches BBC America to watch Doctor Who every single day at a certain time and he can't deal with not having to do that. It's like it's a ritual that he has to abide by because it tears him down and sometimes they even play jokes in this where they, they'll play against his routine and they'll they'll upset his routine to see his reaction like they'll hide something or they'll he can go somewhere else or just because they know they'll get a reaction from him which is kind of cruel but it highlights that he can't deviate from this structure because he just gets really upset by it and it's difficult for him and it does show that emotional struggle and they do hit on that from time to time and i find that quite fascinating they actually do do that but they do, still don't mention autism within the show okay guys this is number six this one's a bonus one i wanted to like just um, drop the, this one in there and there's like, there's two passes. One is that he displays a high level of intellect, like he's a genius, and a lot of people in the autism spectrum do have high IQs, which is quite interesting. But one um, thing that I did want to cover is that he has a specifics, like specific needs. He has hyper-specific needs. When they go to like a Chinese restaurant, they have to order stuff, like they'll have to shred the lettuce rather than just cut it or tear it. And he'll ask for certain things like the chicken needs to be in a certain, uh, you know, linear line in his pot rather than kind of just ch checked in there and swished around and stuff like that. And he has to use a certain type of like um, soy sauce or hot sauce from a different store. And it's just fascinating that he has hyper specifics for things that he eats or where he sits or what he does. Those things are very, very common with people on the autism spectrum. And 
I just see this shining through, like it's just autism, like through and through, that's what it is. Uh, and it's fascinating that like, they've never covered it on the show. I mean, I would like to have seen them kind of cover autism in the show, like because it would have been great for autism awareness or something like that, but they never covered it. But I do know a lot, a lot of people kind of look at Sheldon Cooper uh, and see him as being an autistic person. Now, one thing I will say about this is that Sheldon kind of has like every like trait in the book like they say oh what are the characteristics of somebody with autism and they look for like what characteristics they can as many they can find and then they pile them onto Sheldon and he has every single one of them but this doesn't really always take into account like not everybody's going to be like that not everybody's going to have all those kind of traits and he is like a stereotypical you know he's a white male uh you know with an autism spectrum condition and it's kind of like typical like a white male character will have an autism spectrum condition so guys if you like this video please share it with somebody who you think would entertain this video and also if you are liking this video please give it a thumbs up and I'll see you next time guys. Peace.